Listen, right? Let me clear something up, man, about this FBG butter thing, man. Listen, man, look. People take what I say the wrong way. I, I, I don't even think y'all listening wrong. I think some people just want something to say. I never said nothing negative about him denouncing the ga a gang, a person denouncing the gang. But what I'm saying is, dog, how are you going to be this so-called gangster? Now, listen, it's, 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 it's a different. Everybody know this. It's a difference between gangsters and civilians, right? We all know this. So I'm talking to this gangster dude, right? Can't talk like I want to. I ain't going to say the N-word, yada, yada, yada. I'm talking to this so-called gangster dude that was on here talking all this. Every time I turn around, he's saying something. He like this big gangster, tough dude, right? You in the streets with it. You been told on a bunch of people, right? You got they say an indictment might be coming down on you, right? So you like, I'ma denounce a gang in the middle of this, like the police, any like blind, like it's like you no, nah, no, nah, you can't, no nah, street nigga, you can't do that now. Is what I'm saying. How can you, you gonna turn your back on your gang now because you get a little YouTube money and you see that the, you the snitch and you. Come on, man. Come as a street. I'm talking as the only street dudes. Now, there's nothing wrong with a street dude leaving the game straight up. Like, hey, you know what? I'm getting YouTube money now. I see a better life. And I see, look, I'm tired of this. I want to talk to the kids, talk to the youth. You the left in good standards. Everybody understand that. Okay, dog ain't with the game no more. He would have gained way more followers because everybody respect that. Now you're doing something positive. So everybody respects you. Even the gangsters respect you. Like, damn, okay, this boy, he left the streets alone. He get into this YouTube money. Everybody want to tune in and listen to him. You know what I'm saying? He's still a gangster. His, his name is good. So you have civilians listening and you got street dudes listening, right? You got a good platform. You couldn't... But no, 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 no. You was this tough ass dude, like most of these dudes be. They be super tough, super duper tough until that sentence come down, or until then they want to run, and that's what happened with him, bro. You, 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 you told on people. You a rat. Dog exposed you. Everybody know you a rat now. They know that it was supposed to be some type of indictment come down that you might be on, right? They seen you cry on TV. And the motherfucker ain't even put you in handcuffs yet. So come on, man. You ain't even hit that fucking handcuffs on you when you crying like that. Like, what? You a gangster, though, right? That's what I... That's what I, I and my thing is, I'm just trying to tell the kids to look at these guys. Look at him. How he... I denounced my gang. Now, now you running from your gang. You denouncing it. Uh, so much you... How you gonna do YouTube when everything you did on YouTube was... Well, everything you did on YouTube was about being a stand-up gang member. People tuned in to you because you was a act, because you was talking good street stuff. Now your all that credibility gone. So how can you be a YouTuber now? How can you be a YouTuber and, and play this tough guy when 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 yo when they seen you crying on TV? Tell me, can I hug my son? What did I do? Go get my mama. So I'm telling the kids, look at this nigga. These niggas ain't who they say they are. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Look at Kodak Black. He not the dude that he say. The same dude that told these kids he he knew the perk was fake, but he still took it. You know how many people could have lost their life behind that? Because him saying that. So everybody following him because they think he this real street dude. Even the lames, even the non-street dudes, the regular civilians follow him because they think that he's a street dude and they like hearing street stuff come from a real street nigga. And that's why a lot of civilians, so-called, what y'all call them, follow these type of dudes. It's not because they want to be hard. They just like hearing somebody talk that street and they know he been through it. But he's fraudulent. Kodak Black is a fraud. He's a fraudulent all the way. Like I say, he say all that, take a pill and perk and all this shit. I know it's fake. I stand on business. Well, what business you standing on? You don't fuck with rats. How you don't fuck with rats? But it's convenient, though, to fuck with a rat when it benefits you, though. Now, if it was anybody else, you would have went in on it. If it was a black guy that, that did a song with a rat, if Boosie would have did a song with... 
the, the little, you know, 6 9 If we say if Boosie would have turned around and did a song, reverse it. Boosie would have did a song with 6 9 You Kodak Black would have been all in on that nigga. Lil Wayne would have did a song with anybody. He'd have been like, he'd have been, look, you already know. This. It wouldn't have been no excuse good enough. I don't care how much money you got. You don't mess with a rap. I can just hear him talking now. But you did it. So now that you did it, you trying to make excuses up like it's cool. I, I got to feed my family. I don't care how much you talk about him being a rat on the song. That He know that. He know that. That's why he did it. He wanted to expose you. Why do you think he gave you a million dollars? Because you the one that's always talking that non rest shit. 6 9 knew that. Watch when he, he going to do an interview. And he going to be like, that's why I gave him the million dollars to do the song. So he don't care about you. He's a troll. He like, nigga, I know he, he the biggest one who talking about he don't mess with rats. Look, a million dollars, he mess with a rat. That's what 6 9 going to get on an interview and say, I promise you. You think he's stupid enough to let somebody talk about him and he gave you a million dollars? You think he gonna, he gonna let you talk about him on a, pay you a million dollars to dog him on a song and he gonna be all right with that? Fuck no, he about to take that and and, and they about to be beefing. Cause he about to throw it right back up in his face like nigga, I bought you. That's real talk. So I'm telling you these street guys ain't street guys, man. I'm just trying to tell these kids, man, somebody said something on my post one day it was the realest thing I heard ever. Man, it was the realest shit. I love this, man. I, I wish I knew how to get that shit and blow it. I would put it on my... It said, everybody talking about a real nigga. Finding a real nigga is like finding a unicorn. You know what I'm saying? It's mythological. It's not real. You've never seen one. It's just something heard of and never seen. And that's the truth. It's the truth, man. It's the truth, dog. Because when you look at it now, I've never seen so much talking in my life, incriminating yourself. I've never seen these guys cry before the police, before the fucking handcuffs even get. You don't even know what they there to it for. It could be for a traffic ticket. Nigga, you in there cracking a hug, my son. And you supposed to be this gangster, though. But you get money off YouTube. You don't know. You you too stupid to, 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 to know that dog. How can you YouTube now? Your whole gimmick is up. Is what I'm saying. So I just want these kids to look at this before it happened to you. Why wait till something happen to denounce a gang? Or, or, you know, or something good happened to you. You know, because people usually be in gangs when their life is fucked up. So then you might YouTube, you might do something now. And then, you know what I'm saying? Now you want to leave this shit. But you looking fraudulent and soft because you want to leave. You, I mean, I can't, I can't explain it. My mind going a thousand. But you know what I'm saying, though? Do the shit now. Do the shit while you on top. Don't let nothing tarnish your name. If you want to leave this game, you see it ain't going nowhere. Listen, man, because your life can turn around tomorrow. Literally. Your life can literally change tomorrow. I swear to God, I don't... Nick, dog. I had $3,500 to my name one time. And that's a man with a family. Fuck is thirty five hundred. Anytime you could put what you, anytime you could put your life savings in your pockets, you in bad fucking shape. You understand what I'm saying? Literally, the next day, I done been down more than that and hit bigger leagues. But I'm just telling you, I had less than thirty five hundred dollars, about thirty five hundred dollars to my name, niggas. A grown man and fucked around, and the very next day was up seventy thousand. They got a hit lick, so I done had nothing in my pocket. And the next day, life changing shit happened to you. You don't know what's gonna happen to you. You don't know what, nigga. People always be like, it ain't gonna come to you. You gotta go and get it. That, that's that's the first lie they tell you. If it's meant for you, bro, to come knocking at your door. But you gotta put in effort if it ain't nothing but prayer. You know what I'm saying? The effort is prayer. If you pray on it and, and mean well, it'll come to you. What you mean? They be like, you got to put in work. That is work. When you get on your knees and pray, that's all that God wants you to do. You understand what I'm saying? That's work. That don't mean you got to be. But, you know, you always want to get out here and try to get it, man. But I'm telling you, prayer is a bad motherfucker. So I'm not just saying, I'm not just telling you some bullshit to, 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 to just say, to be talking. Nigga, when I say your life can change tomorrow, it can change tomorrow. So you got to think about the shit you doing now. Because I know niggas, 
who sold dope all their life. Never amounted to shit. They might as well have had a job. These niggas selling nickel rocks and nickel bags of weed till they got 40 years old. Then they get a $15 hour job at 40. And you can't tell these niggas like they, they didn't change their life now. You know how many people I know that done done that? They, they, they look down on niggas now who selling dope. Now they done sold nickel bags of crack their whole life and, and, and nickel dimes of weed and bought little bullshit and raggedy ass cars driving around. Never amounted to shit. Then they finally get a $15 job at 40 some years old. And now you can't tell these niggas shit. They think that, you know what I'm saying though? Like they looking down on niggas who do the same shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, but that don't make sense, nigga. Do it while you, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, that's what I'm saying. You can't be one of them type of niggas. Because no matter what, how I change, I, I'm still willing to, I'm not going to look down on nobody. I'm still willing to say, hey, dog, change with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to look down on you and say, well, y'all niggas selling this and this and this. Like, I, I, it just don't make no sense, man. Change is always good. But, but what I'm trying to tell you is, bro, don't wait. Get out the shit is what I'm trying to tell you. Fuck all this illegal shit. Fuck all this eat. Look, if you hustling, hustle. I'm never going to knock that, but just know it won't last. If you out here hurting people, bro, that's definitely not the way to go. And to me, see, we don't game bang in my city. There's no game bangers here. Not such thing as a game banger in Detroit, Michigan. Right? That's a few people who said, but that shit not big here. I don't know what, what they claiming. I don't under, you know, I don't, you know what I'm saying? But listen to this though. What I'm saying is, leave the shit alone. You know what I'm saying? That violent shit ain't where it's at. When you out here doing violent, violent shit, and that's, that's what most gangs to me, that's what, it's not even these guys don't even want to get money. It's like y'all just want to go out here and hurt people. See, if it, if it wasn't so violent and y'all boys was just hustling, come on, dog. You know how better we'd be? You know how much money it'd be out here? But no, y'all just want to go shoot people for no reason. And y'all think that's cool to go carjack somebody for they shit that they don't work for. And then you not about to get nothing for it. Something got to be mentally wrong with you to take somebody's shit that they didn't work for. And you not even gonna get nothing for it. You know how much of a hater you gotta be? You know how much hate in your heart you gotta have to go take a woman car with her kid in it? And a car fucking got a $4,000 car, you just did something to do it. Pulled the gun on. You about to do 20 fucking years for a car you can't get nothing for. And kidnapping and shit like that. That just, it just, the, the crime summer, I see this happening out here. It just don't make no sense. Most of them is just straight violent for no reason. You, The outcome was never going to be good. You never even started off with the outcome to be good. When you go in here and rob this nigga, how much money did you think you was going to get from a motherfucker walking up the street? Or a motherfucker at the ATM? How much money did you think? You didn't even think beforehand and say, damn, I'm going to hit at least a $10,000 lick where I can do something. You don't even know how much money you're going to get. This motherfucker and some old ass Nikes on, some work pants, and you going to rob him. Like, what did you think you was about to get from this guy? You didn't weigh this shit? You didn't say, if I if I rob this, if I end up having to kill him, I'm about to do life and not kill him. Or I'm going to rob this guy and get this little bit of ass money, but I know I'm about to do at least 10, 15 years in prison. Is that shit worth it? I'm going to go carjack this lady for this fucking cold vote right here with her kids. I'm going to run up on her and take her fucking car. Knowing that's a 20 year federal offense. I'm getting 20 for the carjacking and I don't know how much for the gun. And what the fuck I'm gonna do with this covo? So I'm gonna take her purse with her bridge card in it and her $17 in it. And I'm about to be riding around in a covo through the hood, talking to some more young niggas, talking about some, look what I done. Look what I done, I got this. And, and you about, you just to go impress some other dummies. Y'all not trying to get to the money. Like most crimes that you do out here, Y'all don't even have a getaway plan. Like, dog, y'all are literally killing people on green. Like, I mean, you, you never planned on getting away. It just don't, it's not making sense. We got to think better and do better, dog. That's all I'm saying. Trap Talk Blue YouTube.